In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Edmodo account to your Google Docs account, which is great if you're a Google Docs user because now you can be in Edmodo and use Google Docs and not have to go in and out of two different websites. Very simple to connect. Just make sure you're in your library. So you've clicked on library at the top or the new version of Edmodo, the library icon at the top. On the side, you'll see the different choices. What you want to do is you want to click on Google Doc, which is where you always want to click on when you're actually working in Google Docs. Then you can click on Connect with Google Docs, and a third party will request your permission. If you're not logged in, it's going to ask you to log into your Google account and make sure you log into your school Google account if that's the one that you want to connect. I have two different Google Gmail accounts. I'm going to make sure I check off my school Gmail account and then hit continue. Or if neither of these accounts were your school account, you could sign in with another account. And then you hit continue. You get a little message that says Edmodo is requesting permission to, and here are the things it's requesting. You just click on allow access, wait for it to connect, and sometimes it takes a little time, and then you're in. Awesome, isn't it? Pretty, pretty neat. So when you're in Google Docs, when you click on the Google Doc link, when you're in your library, you can tell in your Google Docs because it says Google Docs up here. When you're in library and you're in your regular Edmodo library, it says library up here. So click on Google Docs, and what it does is it shows you all your Google Docs, which for me is not really that helpful because I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and you might be wondering, Hmm, what about those folders or collections as they call them in Google that I made to organize my docs? Well, watch. If you click over here under all documents, it will bring up the names. Of course, it's not doing it for me right now. Probably because I'm in Chrome. One little bit of warning. If anything is not working like you want it to be working in a browser, and you're trying to do something, whether it's in Edmodo or another program, you might need a new browser. I'm right now in Chrome, and sometimes Chrome isn't so happy. So I'm going to switch to Firefox. Okay, I'm now in Firefox, and I can show you again. If I'm looking for my collections that I created, there's not over here on these folders. These folders are folders I've created in Edmodo. So it's just something to be aware of. These are my library folders in Edmodo. So whether I'm on library and in my library, or I'm in Google Docs, I will see the folders that I created in Edmodo. The folders or collections, as they call them in Google, if I want to see those, I click up here and it shows me all the names of the folders and collections that I have created or that have been. So if I want to look at all my folders and information that I've created in Edmodo, I just find my Edmodo folder. So here's all the folders, all the documents that were in my Edmodo collection in Google Docs. So if I want to check something out, like the groups for Edmodo Highway 21, and I want to add something, you click on the document you want to work with. Over here on the right side, you don't want to download the document. You want to see it in Google Docs, because if you download that document, that means you're bringing a copy down to your computer. And you making change, if you make changes on it, don't expect them to appear in the document that lives in Google Docs, because you downloaded a copy of it. If you want to make a change to appear to the copy of the version of it in Google, which is what you want to do, because that's the whole point, so you don't have to save in multiple places and have multiple copies. If you just click on Google Docs, it opens up that document within Google Docs, and I could just say I'm going to add something down here. I'm just going to add a name. I'm just going to say testing Google Docs. Okay, testing Google Docs. See, it looks exactly the same as when you're in Google Docs. I close it up if I go back, and if I now want to check out in Google to see if that actually worked, I can go to my Adams 12 and I can go into find my folder now I'm just in Google my Edmodo folder and that was Edmodo code so it was for Highway 21 
And there it is, testing Google Docs, right there. So let me point that out to you again, is when you are in Google Docs, here's where you can see your different collections that you have or collections that are shared with you. You click on a document, you click it on in Google Docs, any changes that you make here, you are working in Google Docs. You have connected the accounts. You are in Google Docs. They're connected. So this is just like opening up in Google Docs. Any changes you make with anybody that's sharing the document will see the changes, just like in Google Docs, which is really, really, really awesome. But just remember, don't download it. Okay? And once again, it's just like I said, you're in Google Docs. So you can share this way with people. Okay, just like you share in Google Docs. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to disconnect your account if you want to, for some reason, not have them connected. When you're in your library in Google Docs, you can just click disconnect account. But if you ever try, and then yes, disconnect my account. But if you ever try to reconnect, there's a next step that you need to take in your Gmail account to get it disconnected. So if I go into my Gmail account that I originally connected, you have to find your name in the upper left, sorry, right corner and click on it and find the word account. You click on the word account and then you click on security. You find authorizing applications and site and click on edit. And then here it is. Edmodo Google Docs revoke access. Now, if you don't do it and you never try to disconnect again, reconnect again, it's fine. But if you try to reconnect once you've disconnected and you didn't do the step, it won't allow you to reconnect. I learned the hard way. So, that's pretty much it for Google Docs. And it even says, I've revoked access. Click here to disconnect. Just make sure your account's disconnected. It now is. And if I go to Google Docs, it'll say connect with Google Docs, and I could connect all over again. Happy Google Docing and collaborating.